And as you can tell by the title, this is Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. I am Tokyo Brando, and I am glad to finally be getting into this. We got the first one out of the way, and let's just hope that I can do this one, because it doesn't look stupid to do, like, the first one and attempt the third one when it comes out, which is right around the corner, but not be able to do the second one. So let's hope I can do this one. Uh, which I should be able to, because trust me, if you can finish the first game, you can definitely finish this one. I mean, this one, I'm not saying that this one isn't difficult at times, it is, um, but it's, it's pretty much the same, really. Right, so I have to change a few things here. Um, there are the options. I just want to do things like crank up, I guess, the volume and... Just check out what there is. Oh. Now, if you remember with the first one, it had like the whole snowy effect. You know, it took place. It was like a revenge story out in the blizzard. Well, this one's this one's got more of like a bleak, uh, rainy kind of setting. And I really... There we go. We cranked that up. And I really do like this one. There's some parts of it I like a bit more, I guess, than the first one. A lot of people are probably thinking, what the hell, are you crazy? The first one was way better. Because this one, in comparison to the first one, it it, it was um, a bit of a failure, like in terms of uh, sales and that kind of stuff. But the score was pretty much the same from critics. And the people who did bother to play it, I think, really enjoyed it too. And I really enjoyed this one. And oh my god, this is taking a long time to save. And as you can hear, it's got the same theme, pretty much, but this time it's done with, like, cellos or violins or something. Ah. Uh, finally. Oh, no, nope, still going. So successful. I just want to check out this previously on Max Payne. I am Max Payne. Really? I had no idea. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA. Went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm in the century. My first stop was Vinny. Oh, Gattini. Vinny low life in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Wood promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Bravora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. Oh, I love that quote. That's epic. Good stuff. Okay, let's get into it. New game. Uh, the only one we can choose is Detective, which is like the easiest one, similar to Fugitive from the first game. Ah, this is part one, The Darkness Inside. Prologue. Doo -doo -doo. 
It's still got the really long ass loading screens, as you can see. And uh, the intro of this one's a little bit weird. Like, you may not understand it. I mean, when I first played it, I had no idea what the hell was going on. It just kind of starts towards the end and chops backwards and forwards, and it's weird. The manor now. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area! Hold your fire! Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. The hospital earlier tonight. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. Shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. Huh? I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. Alrighty, I think it's time to... The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. No, he's tripping. Must be all those painkillers you took, eh, Max? Max, the route's clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. Come on, officer. We're here. Max Payne. We need to get out of there. We need to leave now. Sorry. Alright. Um, I think back here is painkillers or something. Oops, I'm getting confused with the buttons. Nothing. Okay. Nah, nothing, I guess. So we've got two painkillers. Good. Because my legs are sore. As you can see by the icon. Anyone there? About what happened? I would fuck up. <laughs> Max Payne, drop your weapon. NYPD. Yeah, this is trippy. What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? Not in the hospital, Jesus. There's kids around. He's still just tripping. I think that he's all right now. Blind spot in my head. Spot in my head. Oh, audio mark up. Bullet shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. <laughs> Is this the pain resident? <laughs> I love that. Doctor Magdalena from ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. How awesome would it be if they had that on the third game? Nicole Horn on the phone. They won't, but I just hope they refer to the first two games, like, at least a little bit. Instead of just making it all different. I'll deal with me. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! Oh, just shoot this guy. Oh, shoot between the legs. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I love the slow mo kill cams. Alright, we got two guns now. Be careful. She's one of them. 
She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne. Winterson! Yeah, he's still tripping. I think we're nearly done here. Uh, I'll just go down here. Yeah, in the elevator. Out of the city, the countryside was sickeningly pretty. The sun setting on a sweet summer day, rain, <laughs> grass, birds in the trees. Address unknown. I love that. Pink. The Pink Bird Mental Institute. Mirrors are more fun than television. I think that's it. I think it's cutscenes now. Oh, good old Jimmy! Hey! God, he's old. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her! No, I can't. Oh, oh goodbye, Jimmy. They're terrible shots. They missed him, man, they hit him once. <laughs> Those are awesome final words before you die. That's what I'm gonna say when I'm on my deathbed. What the? What the? Ah, oh, there goes their guns. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, there's some more trippy scenes. I had tried to run from it. Edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. The manor, now. <laughs> A false start. Ah. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. The fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made. Like staying at work late to chat with a friend. Instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. 